Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, we will examine AMC Entertainment. So many things are occurring with the stock. So many. In all honesty, Adam Aaron, the company's chief executive officer, is finally catching up on fake news articles. And I would like to discuss the potential spring actions when double bottoms are present in the stock. So let's get down to business. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. If you find these videos to be useful. Additionally, you can visit the Discord. It is an educational conflict. You may express your own views. There are a number of items, including treaty ticks and unusual whales, that you can use for your own analysis. And yes, simply converse with the community. Consequently, examine it. There is a link below. Entertainment by Ant Man. Currently, there is a pop up in after hours. I'm on the 23 hour chart so you can see that extended hours are present and that something is happening here. If we examine AMC's three-day chart, I teach a great deal about volume two price analysis and the reason I'm still very optimistic on the stock is the volume analysis. Now I'm going to do this cool thing where I float around the screen and I know you people will love it. If you enjoy seeing me float around, click the like button. Allow me to elucidate everything now. This area, as you can see, has a double bottom, and I'm attempting to observe my stream or my recording here. I strongly advise examining patterns on charts, patterns, wedges, and everything else, as well as candlestick patterns. Isn't this a double bottom? In addition to double trousers, you may possess springs. Springs. Meaning that when support is found off a double bottom, whether it's a bear trap, a lower low, or a higher low, or whatever, there can be a strong upward reaction, correct? The volume entered the area. Observing various trading ranges is indicative of a selling climax and an automatic reaction. We've been over this. I've created countless videos on it. The accumulation cycle is taking longer than I would have liked, but it still exists. I am instructing you on the purpose of your visit. Massive downward force with minimal volume. Right. Decreasing volume, increasing price. Isn't this your sell test? Below the preliminary supply sell climax is a sell test. Thus, if you have a sell test below the sell climax, this is the time to set stop loss. They all went to the cinema and tweeted about their experience. If you recall, recall everything. You had a reaction and then pushed up here in what I consider to be a minor display of fortitude. Why? Because aggregate demand for these candles is rising. Here, there is an increase in demand following the zenith. Again, there is a general decrease in supply volume, and the price is just plunging due to extremely low volume below the area's moving average. These candles are taller, higher overall, and taller. You can see that the yellow color is ascending. That means it's over, or how shall I phrase it? More demand, demand increase. This is what I am attempting to say. There is a general increase in demand, while supply volumes are relatively low across the board. So there's more demand for the stock, right? There are a ton of halts along the way. We are aware that we literally just had a stop off of this candle where you bounced and they stopped at 10% up very quickly and flushed it down. Stops are a topic that can be discussed all day long. I believe. Halt. Halt. And keep. Regardless, the supply volume in this range is virtually non-existent. You can see how the yellow is expanding, expanding, expanding while the white is contracting contracting, and becoming almost non-existent. This will likely contract, followed by a surge in volume. Earnings are what I seek, but I suspect we will run out of time before then. Why would a double bottom exist? I'm looking for a break marginally below this $4 level, despite the fact that the price is currently $4.30. Therefore, the line should be a little bit higher, as we may have rebounded here. I am currently on day three. In light of this, I'd like to provide a more detailed explanation on the 23rd hour. Boom. Right. This section is located here. This section contains local accumulative data. Major distributional section. Right. Expanding wedge. This is a test of the double bottom. Now, if bulls take over here, there will be a significant increase in volume. And this object will go woo. Therefore, it would detonate. I believe I'm done circling the chart for the time being. What I'm saying is volume doesn't deceive. People do. Who does? 
The media is frequently compensated by these hedge funds and market makers. There is a book about it. It is pervasive. It's not me making things up. It is documented in the literature, and there are numerous instances of this. This is why I strive to instruct. If you wish to learn more about Volume 2, Price Analysis, and My Own Thoughts, the Discord server is available. Obviously, nothing in the market is guaranteed, but you can learn something. And if you learn something amazing, you can use it in your own transactions. Everyone is accountable for their own professions. I believe that AMC is both highly accumulated and highly, highly manipulated and is likely the most manipulated stock on the market. In any case, what I wish to demonstrate was a comparison of the various springs, correct? Whatever, let's implement the pre-January surge. Be less concerned with fractals and more concerned with patterns, such as double bottoms and a retest of that level with a slightly lower low. This remains a bear snare. Continues to be a double bottom. And if I zoom in, you can see that the double bear traps on the bottom right, slightly below you, push up, and you then try that level. Isn't that why I have a spring exam? After passing a double bottom spring test, this item liquefies. All right, that's one illustration. Let's go over here, march up, and finally rest in tranquilly. I literally nailed that. I just gave up a large sum of money. This is my own doing. It won't occur again. Anyways, yes, double bottom, a bit beneath. Right, then, press up. Right. This is another example of a double bottom. Here, we have an ascending triangle. Okay. Another instance of a double bottom with a slightly lower low is shown here. Huge push up. And now we have yet another double nader. Consequently, if you consider this entire accumulative range, I believe that the lows can elicit a strong reaction. You're close to removing the purchase button. Okay. Um, so that concludes the discussion. If you want to learn more about Wyckoff methodology and a variety of other concepts, such as Elliott waves, harmonics, Fibonacci support, retracements, and extensions, you can find that information here. The Discord link is provided below. Um, sure. Moreover, there is still one more item. Now that Dave Marino has launched the monthly macro, I believe it will be one of the finest sources of information regarding the market in macroeconomics. Elon Musk is preparing his legal team to fight Wall Street because they have been manipulating the markets for too long. Um, he is removing all the commotion from Main Street's mainstream media. In all honesty, I believe that some media entities are being paid to provide false narratives so that they can increase their share count. It's the identical. It occurs frequently. However, if you wish to learn more, the information is provided below. Use my registration code at monthlymacro.com slash freecourse to obtain my referral code. You save some money. Okay. Founders edition and similar terms. Cool. Thank you for viewing, and I will provide similar content on everything across a variety of tickers. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video. It aids, and I'll see you all again soon.